Good day everyone! I am Teacher Enrico. I am glad that you are here to listen and to learn. Now take a look at this picture. What are the children doing in this picture? What action words do you associate by saying this? That's right! They are playing, having fun, and enjoying. Now, these hints are topic for today. Today, we will talk about simple tenses of verbs. Now, let us first find out what is verb. Verb tells an action that indicates the state of being. It is the action word in a sentence that describes what the subject is doing. It takes different forms depending on their subjects and their time references. Verbs can express in different tenses. The past tense, present tense, and future tense. Before we proceed to our discussion, I have an activity for you. Identify if the sentence is in the past, present, or future. Number one, we will travel to Japan next summer. What is the answer in this? Correct! This is future tense. Number two, Marian ate the whole pizza. What is the answer? That's right! It is in past tense. Number three, they play volleyball at the beach. Is it in past, present, or future tense? That's right! It is in present tense. Number four, you will see your best friend again soon. Correct! It is in future tense. Last number, I run every weekend. Is it in past, present, or in future? Correct! It is in present tense. I know that you already have an idea about our topic for today. But how did you identify if the sentence is in the past, present, or future? Very good! It's because of their time references and referred to the action words. Next is, can you give example sentences that are in past, present, and future? Okay, write that on your papers and we will check it later. As you can see here, we have a table. You will study how verbs are formed. We have here base from, simple past, simple present, and simple future. For example, the word let. Its simple past is let, simple present is let, and simple future will let. How did it happen? We will discuss that later. Now look at the other words on how they are formed in different tenses. I know that you are already excited in discussing our lesson. The first one is simple past tense. The simple past tense of a verb is used to describe an action or condition that took place at a specific point that already happened. For example, the students visited a zoo three days ago. The simple past tense there is visited because it already happened. The second one, Trexy played Mobile Legends earlier. The word there is played because it already happened. Regular and irregular verbs have different ways in forming their past tense. Simple past of regular verbs are formed by adding D or ED to the base form of the verb. For example, in this table, the regular verbs base from dance, it formed into danced. Cook, 
to cooked. Plant to planted. However, the spelling of some irregular verbs does not change. For example, base from cat, the simple past is cat also. The hurt, hurt also. Put and also put. It does not change. But did you know that the spelling of some irregular verbs change their spelling? For example, based from live to left. Make, made. Write and wrote. These are irregular verbs that are changing. Always remember, if the verbs end in Y and Y follows a consonant, change Y to I and ED. For example, based from cried to cried. Carry, carried. Try, tried. That is the simple past tense. The second one is the simple present tense. It is used to describe a habitual action or general truth. For example, the children go to school every day. The word corresponds to simple present tense is go because it is happening. Next one, Mrs. Acute works in the school canteen. The verb there is works. It is in simple present tense. But how is that in present tense? Remember that use the S form of the verb if the subject is singular. For example, May and reviews her lessons every night. The subject mentioned is singular. That's why we use the S form of the verb, reviews. In addition, use the simple form of the verb if the subject is Plural. For example, Antoinette and Giselle buy flowers for their mother. The subject is plural. That's why we use the simple form of the verb, which is buy. Plus, use the simple form of the verb with the pronouns I and you. For example, I visit my cousins in the province every summer. We use the simple form of the verb because the pronouns I is there. The second one, you have a nice dress. Again, we use the simple form of the verb because of the pronouns you. Next, if the subject is singular and the verb ends in Y, and Y follows a consonant, change Y to I and add ES. For example, Camila studies her lessons well. The subject is singular and the verb ends in consonant. That's why we change Y to I and add ES. And we form studies. Do you have any questions? Just let me know. The third one is verbs and simple future tense. These are used to express an action or condition that will or will not happen or exist in the future. To form this, use will plus the base form of the verb. For example, they will attend the birthday party tomorrow. So, the birthday party will happen tomorrow. That's why it is in simple future tense. The word will Plus, attend. The second one, me and my friends will watch a movie tonight. The third one, Mizel will discuss the lesson today. In simple future tense, we will just use will plus the base form of the verb. Did you get it? I am confident that you already understood our discussion. As you can see here, we have a poem Jump or Jiggle by Evelyn Bayer. I will read the poem 
and you will write down all the verbs that are in this poem. And you will form them in simple past, simple present, and simple future. You will pass that to me later. Frogs jump, caterpillars hum, worms wiggle, bugs jiggle, rabbits hop, horses clop, snakes slide, seagulls glide, mice creep, deer leap, puppies bounce, kittens pounce, lions stalk, but I walk. That's it. Now, let me know if you have questions. You will hand me your papers later, okay? Are you ready for the next activity? Let's proceed. Complete each sentence by writing the correct form of the verb. Choose the correct answer. Number one, Earl John Blanc part in an online quiz show and won the grand prize. Letter A, takes. B. Taken or C. Took What is the answer? That's right! The answer is took because it already happened and Earl John already won the grand prize. Number 2. Mr. Incredible rescued the cat who blanked into the ground. Do you know Mr. Incredible? He is my favorite childhood superhero. Letter A. False. B. Fell. Or C. Failed. Correct! The answer is fell because the cat fell into the ground and missed Third, incredible, rescued it. You're doing a great job, kids! Number three. I blank songs during my free time. A. Write. B. Wrote. Or C. Written. What is the answer? That's right. The answer is right. Because it is in simple present tense. You can see the word during. That's why it is happening. The answer is right. I write songs during my free time. Number four. Last year, Atara blank first place in the spelling bee contest. A. Win. B. Win. Or C, 1. What is the answer? Correct! The answer is 1. Because it already happened last year. Number 5. The last number. The children blank their favorite toys during the toy fair next month. A. Presented. B. Will present or C. Presenting. That's right! The answer is will present. The children will present their favorite toys during the toy fair next month. It is in future tense because it will happen next month. Very good, kids! Always remember. That verb tells an action that indicate the state of being. It is the action word in a sentence that describes what the subject is doing. It takes different forms depending on their subjects and their time references. Verbs can express in different tenses. The past tense, present tense, and future tense. Verbs that show actions or events done in the past are past tense. The simple present tense describes an action that is regularly or habitually done. The simple future tense expresses an action that will happen in the future 
or coming time. Always remember those. Okay, for your assignment, identify the missing verbs in the table and use each of them to make a sentence. Okay, look at the table. You can copy it on your notebooks. Thank you all so much for listening. Goodbye!